Hi there, Dave here from Invoice Ninja. Today I'd like to take you through one of our latest features, which is client prepayments. What are client prepayments? Well, if you typically run a business where you run on a retainer model where clients have to prepay you for your services, and then as you generate invoices, the payment is used to then reduce the balance of those invoices. How do we configure that now in Invoice Ninja? This is a new setting. So we're heading to settings and payment settings, and there's now an item called client initiated payments. So we'll turn this on and you can see we've provided another option where you can define the minimum amount the client needs to make. So let's say you only accept $500 for these prepayments, you would put in 500 here. If you leave it blank, the client can enter in anything they like. So what does this look like from the client's perspective? Well, let's jump into the client portal and we can see now there's a prepayment option. So the client would click on this, enter in uh, the description of what they're paying for and how much they're paying. So let's say they want to pay you $5,000. It could be a one-time payment. If they want it to be a recurring payment based on some kind of uh, agreed schedule, they can configure this themselves. So they would click on enable recurring and they can define the number of payments or simply just click on continue until cancelled and this will run indefinitely. Second option is the frequency. So uh, we have all of our usual frequencies available here. Typically monthly is what most people would use. So this will create a monthly uh, payment for $5,000. It'll automatically build the payment method on file. One important note is that it's not an invoice as such. It's a prepayment invoice. It won't use your regular invoice numbers. Once the payment's made, we wipe this invoice from the system. So it'll be there as a reference for you, but from the client's perspective, all that will be left is a payment with an available balance. So let's go through and have a look and see what this looks like. We'll go through and make the payment. And you can see here it's completed. The payment has been made for $5,000. Can see there's 5,000 remaining and as you start to apply payments to invoices they will appear under here and so it's a nice way for your client to understand the remaining balance and also the invoices that have been used for this payment. Client can then also inspect this recurring payment itself here it is here you can see it's going to send again on the 30th of April for $5,000. What does this look like from the admin portal? Let's click on refresh. Now if we show deleted invoices, you'll see this prepayment invoice is here, it's deleted. And this is like just a uh, reference for you uh, to show you uh, when this was done and uh, uh, more, more just as a reference. The payment itself appears here as unapplied for $5,000. You can see there's a, an available balance here of 5,000. So let's go through and perhaps apply this to an invoice. Let's go through. And then we'll be able to see what this looks like from the admin perspective and also from the client portal perspective. So here's an invoice that the client previously had. We're going to apply this payment. Here we go. It's now been applied, paid for. What does it look like from the client's perspective? Here's this $5,000 payment. We'll go into it. So here you can see the linked invoice that we just paid and also the remaining balance that's left. A nice way for everyone to keep on track of spending, what's been happening, and also any linked invoices. Within Invoice Ninja, this recurring payment will appear as a recurring invoice for you. So here it is, this customer, $5,000. The next time it's going to send, be on the 30th of April. We're going to auto bill this for you immediately when it's due. 